Halo Galactic family. The spiritual awakening happens when the being no longer sees in the terrestrial trajectory the only possibility of life. He already notes that life is greater than we see, than we feel. It awakens to the true reality of life. In this wake of awakening many questions come to mind. Are so many questions about how life is made? How is it formed? What am I made of? What is my purpose in this journey? Why does humanity still act like this? All of this is part of the path of awakening. To wake up means to start to break free, to be different by simply seeing the most and doubting the common. But the awakening brings us something more, the opening for the cosmos to serve us, heed us and guide us. The help we say here, however, is not human help, where we will find a love, become prosperous and happy. Because this is help that the ego wants, of that one that still lives in the planetary reality. If we ask the awaken what they need, many will say they need a better job, a new marriage or a softer life. But few will be the ones who will respond what I need is my enlightenment. The expression awakening the cosmos will serve us, receives another sense from the search for enlightenment. When the universe begins to serve us we will be challenged in the deepest pains. We will lose the job, a loved one, we will question ourselves about what we want for our life. And this questioning is energetic, which authorizes the universe to mess up our life. And messing up I say about leading us to the path of enlightenment. It is not, therefore, the awakening, of the human, planetary, ego desire, because deep down what God wants is to see his children free, free from all restraint. That's why when we wake up we suffer and we ask ourselves what have I done wrong to go through all this? And the universe answers us nothing, we are only helping you in your deliverance. And that is why together with awakening we usually receive a bundle of financial, loving, relationship problems that lead us into hard confrontations and often lead us into the dark night of the soul. We have often come to question God and his attitude toward us, the reason we have taken away everything we had. And the answer is simple awakening is different from lighting. And God wants to see us shine, happy, so he helps us, even if it is in a way that often does not please us. Because he knows what we need to get through to achieve this deliverance. When we wake up we simply see that life is not these social rules that we are told to be. But awakening does not mean that life becomes softer, on the contrary, it becomes even harder because we no longer fit into social patterns, our work, our old friendships, and our relationships. Everything begins to be questioned and to collapse. That's why we come to seek answers. This path of awakening is not simple, it is hard because it induces us to something deeper, enlightenment. The path of awakening will make us more loving, understanding, because there will be so many pains that we will experience that we will simply come to understand people. We will see our own pain in their faces, in their questions. For, thanks to God, these pains that are put on us by the attitude, even if unthinking of our brothers, will reflect us a road that we pass, but we have already surpassed. The path of awakening is hard, but it will lead us to love, understanding, understanding from our own pain. As we become more awake, however, an inverse movement occurs, we stop asking ourselves. We begin gradually to suspect that there are no answers. And even though they exist none of them will lead us to the path of happiness. We have discovered something amazing, the answers only lead us to new questions. So we stopped asking ourselves. We suspect, then, that all those questions, the pains that the awakening caused us, did not say anything about us. The fears, 
the difficulties we experienced in facing our deepest fears were just a process, an attempt by the universe to get us out of this planetary environment of madness, that reality in which we lie without ever having lived a day. The pain does not hurt so much, the difficulties will be solved, life can then be lived simply. That is to be enlightened. It is already being able to be here, in this body, without being involved in the pains, the chaos and at the same time feel like part of all this. Life becomes simple because we realize that there were no questions or answers. There was simply life that had to be lived without entering into the mental illusion that people live in their daily lives. But even the point of enlightenment is so many pains that we pass, the physical symptoms that we feel and that nobody explains to us. From spots on the skin, insomnia, bad mood, physical pain without any explanation, difficulties that arise from nothing with a simple phone call that totally unbalances us. And we think, what am I doing wrong? The answer remains the same you are doing nothing wrong, just awakened in the universe is trying to show you the feeling of freedom only that. Awakening is this, light up still do not know. But I suspect it must be a very good thing, for I feel the peace and love of the masters who have been enlightened. And the feeling that passes us is of love, of light and of peace. If that's what they convey to us so they should feel. So I suspect that lighting up is disconnecting from all those questions and simply understanding that there are no answers. Perhaps the physical symptoms of awakening will continue, but we will be able to laugh at it because to be enlightened is to be happy. I believe that life will become funny when faced with the antics that mankind makes in its days. But something I am sure, the enlightened being is free from envy, pride, lust, hatred, all these are feelings that no longer reach him. He understood life and breathed outside the planetary grid. The pangs of awakening cleansed him. Difficulties made it better. He went out of life, though he continues in a body, but now breathes above mankind. He is free to follow the path for he is no longer bound by anything but a sense of peace and lightness and the certainty that everything is always and will be well. He continues to live on the planet, but no longer immersed. Transcended. The true feeling of enlightenment must be that of freedom and eternal joy. Freedom that brings peace and enlightenment. Many are those who awaken in these times, but know that the path of awakening is not simple for it will lead you, if you are able to overcome, to enlightenment. Enlightenment is our destiny, our only purpose. Be enlightened to be happy. Perhaps this is the only way we can feel happy, full, overcome ourselves to free ourselves from our own truth enlightenment. Something that seems so simple, but we know, that here on earth is not, because it hurts, hurts, leads us to the extreme. Until we can give up, stop questioning us and simply accept life as it is, live for being alive without to worry, only accepting the only truth love. Be in peace.